What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back. Today I want to talk you through my March month favorites and it's not a whole bunch of product. I haven't been trying out a lot lately so I also have two products that I was a little bit underwhelmed by and I'm going to talk about those too. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Natasha and I'm honestly like you guys, I'm a big beauty fanatic and I just want my channels to be a space where we're realistic or true and we're just, we have fun with beauty. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, please click that subscribe button. Um, also, I'm a small channel. Any engagement is highly, highly appreciated. That goes for all the small channels that you follow. Any like or just small comment, question, or mm -hmm. just a little bit of love is so appreciated. Thank you very much. Let's get into the video. First two faves are these Holy Frog cleansers. I did an entire review, brand review video of these cleansers. This is my two favorites. I'm running out of this one. This is the Tashmu Water Lily Cleanser. This is like their gentlest kind of universal milky cleanser. So, so nice. I use it every morning. It's a perfect morning cleanse. And then this is the Shasta AJ acid wash cleanser. I use this one usually either at night or after I've worked out or something like that. It's just got a little bit of exfoliating AJ in it. Love them both. Why did I throw those up in the air? I just think that I thought that that would be kind of a cool effect, but it probably wasn't. No. Next up is an old fave, but it was recently sent to me again. It's the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration mask. <sighs> I've had this mask before. I love it so much. It's this gentle, exfoliating, lovely piece of heaven mask on your face. Um, it's this honey texture and then when you massage it into the skin, it turns into this white foamy thing and then it does go a little bit warm. You can feel a little bit of warmth on your skin and then when you wash it off, you just have such a nice glow. Your skin feels alive again. Anyways, highly can recommend this to anyone that wants just a gentle exfoliating mask. That is all you need. You don't need 20-30% of stuff burning on your skin. If you ask me at least. Um, so, winner. Winner. Next up is something that I never thought that I would include in a favorites video. This is the Good Molecules Squalane Oil. I have dry skin but I never liked a pure oil on my skin. I never liked that greasy feeling of an oil until I tried a squalane oil. It's a dry oil, so it kind of just sinks into your skin immediately. I use this at nighttime as my last step, so when I wake up in the morning, I'm just like, <gasps> perfect. Skin is still hydrated, skin is still moisturized, skin is still plump. I mean, I need no night mask or night cream for that matter. I slap this on right after my serum and I'm good to go to bed. It's very small. I, I know this one is 13 mil. I think that a serum is usually like 30, so more than half, but it's also very affordable. I can highly recommend this. I've been using it for like two weeks now. Glass bottles too. Glass bottles, no plastic kids. Next up is this Polish Choice Enriched Calming Toner. I actually use this more as like an essence and I know there's been a lot of talk lately about essences and serums and like do you need it all, blah blah blah. You absolutely don't need it all. I use it because I like it. I like layering products. Um, I would absolutely survive without them but I very much enjoy this one. If you're looking for more like a thicker, milkier, almost moisturizing toner because in my opinion like toners are usually more watery, they have an active ingredient in them whether it's like vitamin C or niacinamide or uh, some kind of an acid exfoliator like a BAJ or an AJ. This one is not one of those. This is more like a caring, nurturing toner and it has this very nice, thick, milky texture. So I like this because currently I'm using a niacinamide toner and then I use this on top. And the niacinamide is very hydrating. It makes my skin feel plump. This one is a lot more like just calming, moisturizing, nurturing. And when I apply it onto my skin, I feel like it's kind of like, it's almost like a lotion texture. It's almost like a light moisturizer. So 
I love it. I will definitely repurchase this once I run out, especially for like the winter months, or fall and winter months, when I'm more in need of layering and a lot of um, moisture and occlusion to my skin. Good job, Paula. That's it for my skincare favorites. Next up is two makeup favorites, and basically I haven't tried out a lot of new makeup lately, um, but these ones are two new ones, and it's the... Oh, they're so dirty. Sorry. I'm not a dirty person. This is um, the Tower 28 products. This is a cream blush in Beach Please, and this is a highlighter in uh, No Shade. This is my perfect everyday go-to um, pinky cream blush and this moisture huh? moisturizer this highlighter um is a very nice one because it has no glitter no highlight no nothing to it i've talked about this in my videos before i'm a big cream product fanatic i love cream products especially when it comes to my base i love cream foundation i love a cream blush i love a cream highlighter i love a cream bronzer i love everything cream okay now i know that i've been a big fan of glossier um cloud paints This one is even better. Like, I still love the Glossier Cloud Paints, but this one, I think it's because it's a cream. Like, it's because the Glossier Cloud Paints, they, they're more of a liquid and then they dry down. Um, but this one is a cream and it stays a cream, so it's just easier to work with. It's less, it doesn't patch up like a Glossier Cloud Paint can do on me. Um, and this highlighter is just really nice. I love it for like <sighs> very light makeup days or like next to no makeup days. Um, it's just that sweaty glow kind of thing. Uh, could you consider it an expensive Vaseline? Absolutely. But it doesn't clog up your skin like a Vaseline would. That's why you shouldn't use Vaseline on your face except for maybe on your lips. Anyways, really nice products and brand. Can't wait to try even more of their stuff. Okay, so the last two favorites are two body products that were sent to me by Skin City. It's uh, their new uh, body range, and this is the Sweet Almond Shower Oil, and then this is the Active Body Emulsion. I love a um, shower oil. I I got I got this little green um, what's it called? Like a little sponge thingy, and then I pour this in it, and I put some water on it, and then I scrub it on my entire body, and this oil turns into like this foamy milky thing love it smells amazing as you can see i've been i've been using this one really enjoy it um if you're looking for a nice gentle um shower oil absolutely and then there's the active body emulsion and this is just a light moisturizing body cream like if you're one of those people who don't like one of those thick ones that are heavily fragrant and the, like just stay on your skin and make you feel sticky. Not one of those. Also, what I like about this one is that it's got actives in it. So it has niacinamide, vitamin B5, but it's also got retinoate. So I have been overusing this on like my decolletage area, on my hands, just because um, retinoate is a form of uh, vitamin A, which is basically the only proven ingredient in the world that can actually work anti-aging and now they have it in a body product so why not okay so i have two products that i i haven't been a particular fan of this month the first one is a deodorant from briogeo this is the be well uh, tea tree eucalyptus clean deodorant now i was looking forward to trying out a um what's it called aluminium 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 Huh? No, aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. No. So it's aluminum talc and paraben free product, but it's specifically the aluminum. Is that what it's called? Is that what you say? So um, I was really looking forward. It has this really nice um, fragrant smell to it. It's got tea tree. And so it's very, very fresh and like almost nature-esque smell. Like it, it's almost like smelling a, what's it called? Bartrad. Pine tree. It's it's kind of like smelling a pine tree. So I was so excited to try this. I've been trying it out for like a month and I'm not a person that sweats a lot or I don't have a lot of BO, at least I think I don't. <laughs> um, and it works for like maybe 24 hours and then the day after I can start feeling like I don't smell as Fresh. I'm fine with it now because I'm at home all the time anyways, but it hasn't impressed me too much. 
to be honest. Next up is the Pharmacy Very Cherry Bright uh, Vitamin C Serum. Now, some of you might be confused now because I did use this product in my AM routine uh, video that I filmed not too long ago, and I still use it. I use it every morning, and I like it. I enjoy the product. <sighs> but I don't know if it does what it promises to do. It has 15% vitamin C in it, and I'm a little bit like, I don't know. The thing is, I know the vitamin C is a very unstable product. That's why it usually comes in like an oil form and in a bottle that um, is kind of dark so that there's no uh, UV rays going in and kind of, uh, what's it called, oxidizing the product. Now it does come in like one of those pumps where it's like, there's no air that can get into the packaging and further oxidize the product. I don't know if I'm impressed. Like, what I like about it is the consistency and the texture. It's a very, like, thick, nice um, texture to it. Almost like a little bit silicone-y. Um, and it smells like cherries. It smells very, very nice. And so I like the feeling that it leaves on my skin, it plumps it up, it makes it feel like dewy and nice, but does it actively actually do what it promises to do? I'm not sure. So I'm gonna use it up. I don't have any other vitamin C serum, but I think that if I did have anything else that I wanted to try uh, in form of a day serum with vitamin C in it, I probably wouldn't have continued on using it. Those were my products for the month. This was my first favorites video um, and non-favorites video, I guess. As I said, I don't know if I'll be able to do one of these next month because I don't get that much product sent to me nowadays, which I actually quite enjoy. If you did like it, you know what to do. Um, I'll see you in the next one.